Kuchok. President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. On... The court is now in session. Je déclare l'audience ouverte. Today, the chamber continues to hear the testimony of witness Pesokan by a video link. Ms. Jessie Wong, please report to the attendance of the parties and other Madame individuals at today's proceedings. Mr. President, for today's Monsieur proceedings, all parties to this case are present. Sont Mr. Nunchi is present in Monsieur the holding Nunchi cell downstairs. He has waived his right to be present in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered to the greffier. A witness who is going to conclude his testimony today, that is Mr. Pesoka, via video link, is ready. The AV unit informs the chamber that the link has been ready. So is the witness. Thank you. Merci. President, thank you, Mr. G.S. Wong. The chamber now decides on the request by Nunchir. The chamber Nunchir. has received a waiver a from Nunchir dated 21st May 2015, which notes that due to his health, that is headache, back pain, santé, he cannot sit or dos, concentrate for long, tête, and in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requests to waive his rights to participate in and be present at the 21st May 2015 hearing. He advises that he has been advised by his counsel that in no way this waiver can be construed as a waiver of his rights to be tried fairly or to Ni challenge evidence presented or admitted to this court at any time during this trial. Having seen the medical report of Nguyen Chi by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC dated 21st May 2015, who notes that Nunchi's condition remains the same, that is, he has back ache and dizziness when he sits for long and recommends that the chamber shall grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 815 of the ECCC internal rules, the chamber grants Nunchi his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs while an audiovisual means. The AV unit personnel are instructed to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nunchi can follow the proceedings remotely. That applies for the whole day. President, the Chamber would like to inquire from the ECHO prosecutors about the position in questioning this witness. Your Honor, with the Chamber's leave, we have one more area that we'd like to explore with this witness. President, the Chamber will allow that. Très bien, la Chambre However, vous the Chamber would like to remind that Cela the dit, questions shall be on the substance of the facts are being tried fond, and the combined time for the co-prosecutors and the lead co-lawyers for civil parties is on for one session only this morning. You may not proceed.
Your Honor, I'd, I'd understood from the, the Chamber's ruling yesterday that there was a combined three sessions for the co-prosecutors and the civil party lead co-lawyers. Did I misunderstand the Chamber's ruling yesterday? Uh, that is correct. Uh, However, just uh, that it seems that the co-prosecutors uh, concluded hier, nous avons eu your que les questions yesterday and that you sought to ask uh, three nous additional nous questions. Que vous poser trois questions and we only received further information via an email after the adjournment of the hearing yesterday. That's right, the Chamber hier. grants you voilà uh, a request de faire droit à votre demande with the additional time en vous accordant du temps supplémentaire so that the witness who is to continue his testimony today shall conclude it by the end of today's proceedings. And that is also due to his poor health. Nous devons prendre en compte son mauvais état de santé également. And if it cannot be concluded today, it means that we have si to continue doing it uh, tomorrow. Il faudra la poursuivre demain. And that's why the chamber made a such uh, voilà uh, instruction. Your Honor, may I briefly confer with Le the civil party lead co-lawyer regarding the split of time? Permettez-moi de confirmer avec les co-avocats principaux pour les participer, s'il vous plaît. Je vais, je vais prendre la parole, Monsieur le Président, pour être... Uh, Pour vous, vous demander une clarification, il avait été entendu for avec euh, les coprocureurs que nous puissions disposer d'une heure pour poser les questions. Nous étions partis du principe qu'il nous restait suffisamment de temps ce matin pour que les coprocureurs puissent poser euh, les questions additionnelles qui souhaitaient poser ce matin et que nous puissions, comme convenu, disposer du temps. And that, euh, as agreed, que nous avions euh, envisagé euh, lorsque nous avions parlé de la répartition du temps pour ce témoin. Donc si nous mettons tout bout à bout, nous aurions besoin en witness. totalité de 1h20 so minutes. Hour, minutes. En sachant qu'il s'agit bien évidemment d'un temps approximatif et qu'il est possible que ma consoeur et moi-même ayant besoin d'un peu moins de temps que cela, mais en tout état de cause, je dirais, 1h20 minutes pour permettre au, au, copro, au coprocureur de, de poser également ces questions. To put questions to the witness, and this would therefore allow the prosecutor to Yes, I think the uh, time allocation uh, shall be about right. Oui, as, uh, for the temps. one morning session, you have about pour ce matin, one hour and vous ten minutes. Une heure vingt, une heure dix. So now the chamber will uh, grant a total combined time to Donc, the co-prosecutors and the lead co-lawyers uh, this morning for one hour and twenty minutes, and so they commence uh, the questioning now. Et peut dès Thank you, Mr. President. Le Merci, le President. Is the video link open? Can I begin asking questions of the witness? President. Le président. Good morning, Mr. Paisoka. Are you ready? Êtes-vous prêt? Witness. Good morning, Les Mr. Témoins. President. Yes, Bonjour, I am Monsieur ready. Oui, je suis prêt. President, uh, thank you. And Le we président, now uh, resume our uh, hearing. And you will be questioned again by the uh, co prosecutors Et And the uh, co prosecutor you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good morning, Mr. Pechsoka. Bonjour, Monsieur Pechsoka. I'd like to start this morning by asking you matin, about a quote from your OCIJ statement. And the page reference is in Khmer 0038-9528 in English. 0040-3009 and in French 0042-2244. On that page, you were asked, quote, did you know about the purge of the central zone leaders, unquote. 
And your answer was, quote, I did not know, but when I visited my younger sibling, who lived with Sreng, at the public work office of Sector 41, I knew that Sreng had disappeared. At that time, Tang took over. Later on, when I visited my siblings in the second time, Tang also disappeared. Sreng and Tang were my father's friends. Both of them disappeared in 1977." Unquote. And earlier in your, in your statement, and as you told us yesterday, Sreng was the Sector 41 committee, and he was the one who had sent you to study in Phnom Penh. And that's in your statement at Khmer page 00389520-21, English 0040-3002-3003, and French 0042-2237. So I'd like to ask you about this first visit to see your siblings at the Sector 41 Public Works Office. Approximately when did that take place? Witness. Regarding the statement that you just read out, indeed it is uh, my uh, statement, and that is what I knew at the time. I made a visit to my siblings in 1978. Are you able to tell us how long after you arrived? At the first January dam site, your first visit to your siblings occurred. Du barrage du 1er janvier, vous vous êtes rendu pour vous avez effectué cette visite à, auprès de vos frères et sœurs pour la première fois. I visited réponse my uh, younger sibling, rendu visite à mon frère et ma soeur and it was about uh, a little bit over a year. Un peu plus an an après mon sur le uh, when you arrived for this visit, how did you Question. learn that Sreng was not arrivée, there at the public works Sreng office anymore? Plus au sein du bureau des travaux publics? Sreng did not uh, work at the uh, public works office. Sreng ne travaillait pas au bureau des travaux publics. Chairman of Il était sector 41 chef committee. Du, secteur, du comité du secteur 41. And so when you went to visit your siblings, Question, how did you learn that he had disappeared? Who told you or how did you find out? I knew it as my younger sibling uh, told me about that. Ce when I asked where a strain was, I was told that the strain disappeared, and I didn't know uh, where he disappeared to. And moving on to Tang, you said he was replaced by Tang. Uh, can you tell us who Tang was and what his position was?
President, again, good morning, Mr. Paisokha. Le Président. Monsieur Witness. Paisokha, bonjour. Yes, uh, good morning, Mr. President. Bonjour. President. Le témoin. There is bonjour, a Monsieur technical Président. glitch. Le Président, il y a eu un petit problème in the technique. In the interpretation system, it has Au been solved. And let me resume. Nous and the deputy co-prosecutor, you may resume your question. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Soka, in your statement, Soka, you said that Sreng was replaced by Tang. Does that mean that Tang became the Cela sector secretary after Sreng? After Sreng disappeared, Tang Réponse. Après replaced la him in that Sreng, position. Bien Tang qui and can you tell us how you Question. found out that Tang then disappeared? De quelle façon vous avez appris que c'est Tang qui l'avait remplacé et qui a disparu à son tour? That was toward the end of 1978 when I knew about that and that was when I made my last visit to my younger siblings. And did you ever find out who replaced Tang as sector secretary? I uh, didn't receive any further information. Réponse. Non, je n'ai plus d'informations sur ce sujet. Par Mr. Monsieur. President, in the context of this evidence Monsieur from this witness, Monsieur I'd Président. just like to note a few documents for the record. I'm not asking you to use them with the witness. I just want to draw the chamber's attention to them in light of this evidence. The first document is E3-2956. This document is an S21 prisoner list. The first person on the list is someone with alias Srang, who is listed as a member of the Zone Standing Committee of the North Zone. Item 56 on the same list is a person with the alias Thang, listed as the Secretary of Sector 31, which we submit as a typographical error for 41. And we would also draw the Chamber's attention to E3-3857 and E3-2797, which are the S21 confessions of Sreng and E3-2464, which is the S21 confession of Thang. And for present purposes, we rely on those documents simply to establish that those men ended up in S21. And Thang is also mentioned in E3-3861, a list of prisoners from the North Zone, smashed on 8 July 1977, and he's at number 103. And with the Chamber's leave, I would now like to ask the witness a few brief questions about the statement of his former supervisor, uh, Mr. Ng Cham. These questions relate to matters that, in Mr. Cham's statement, relate to things done by his team things of which this witness should, based on his own testimony, have knowledge. Uh, Mr. Soka, I'm now going to read you a few brief expert excerpts from a statement, Soka, not of your statement, but from the statement of Ng Cham your former supervisor. De and the document Cham, number for counsel's reference is E3-5513. And Mr. Sokai, I believe that the court officer there with you has a printed copy of this statement. And the first portion I'd like to read is from answer 53. There, Cham says, quote, Cham at first, Sao and I received an order from Kaipok 
to examine the location and survey the first January dam in sector 42, Barai district. The group leader named Sao, his wife named Sim, unknown if she is dead or alive, was from the Ministry of Public Work, unquote. And I'll now continue with answer 58. Cham was asked, when you conducted the survey, who did you report to? And he said, quote, I reported to Sao. And then skipping ahead to answer 83, Cham says, quote, at that time, my team tried very hard to work to do whatever to finish the work set by the upper echelon. When we were not able to complete according to the set plan, we would be in danger. For instance, the front part of the spillway that Sao ordered us to use less cement and iron. It means that we needed to use the materials economically, use less, and maintain the quality. But after I tried opening the rear water gate, half of the front part of the spillway was broken. This made my group very frightened because we could be accused that we made technical mistakes. Unquote. And then in the next, the next question immediately following is, when did Sao disappear? And Cham's answer was, I did not know. I did not see him come to examine the construction site like before the problem happened. And finally, in answer 85, Cham said, after the disappearance of Sao, Kaipok appointed me to be in charge of continuing construction. So, Mr. Soka, do these statements of your former chairman refresh your recollection about this person named Sao who disappeared after the spillway failed? For me, the, the person by the name of Sao is not familiar, and uh, I only know Cham. You told us yesterday that you found your experience terrifying. Was one of the reasons that you found it terrifying that you feared that you could disappear if you made a mistake in your work. I do not have anything else to add to what I have stated already. Your Honor, just quickly for the record, in connection with the individual Sao just discussed uh, in Cham's statement, I'd refer the Chamber to document E3-2166, another S21 list of prisoners from the Central Zone at item number 106. And also... President, Deputy Co-Prosecutor, please hold on, and Council Consum On, you have the floor. Council Consum On. Thank you, Mr. President. I think the way the Co-Prosecutor makes his observation is not at the right time. The time now is to put the questions to the witness and he can do that at the later stage of the proceedings. Thank you. Your Honor, we're just interested in assisting the Chamber in the most efficient way possible. Um, in my experience, it's, it's helpful to have these references in the context when a person has just been discussed. We're happy to make our submissions uh, whenever it would be helpful to the Chamber. It will take less than a minute for me to, to finish, but I defer to the Chamber. President, uh, 
Président. Yes, you can uh, actually uh, proceed. Oui. And allow, allow me to stress that you should pronounce the word or the name properly. For example, uh, the person exemple, named is Sao, not Sao, Sao. And the non, national co de deputy co-prosecutor co should assist uh, your uh, colleague, national co-prosecutor. Co uh, in fact, my colleague uh, meant Sao, but he Sao. followed the the Mais spelling il a suivi of uh, the Latin word, and maybe the interpreter latin. does not refer to the Khmer script on the uh, record. The Khmer script is not Sao, but Sal. And yesterday I made a mistake when I uh, said the word uh, Sao and not Sao. Sao President, thank you for the clarification. And indeed, uh, Sao the Sao refers to the same individual. Sao so and the Deputy co prosecutor you may uh, proceed Monsieur to conclude your question. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, there's just one more uh, <coughs> document to reference in connection with the person we've just been discussing. Uh, that is document D43 slash IV dash NX44, which is an excerpt from the S21 confession of Yap Yan alias Sao. Uh, and again, for this purpose, we're only relying on the document to establish that he ended up in S21. And with that, I pass the floor to the civil party lead co-lawyers. Thank you, Your Honor. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Yes, Je you, cède la parole à ma consoeur Tisrina. Tisrina, thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Merci, Your Honours, everyone in and around the courtroom. Bonjour et bonjour à tous ceux ici présents dans le prétoire. Good morning, Mr. Petsoka. Bonjour, Monsieur Petsoka. Do you hear me? Witness, yes. I can hear you. Oui, je vous entends. Counsel, I have a few questions to seek your clarification while you were working in the dam, that is the 1st January dam. Could you tell me where the 1st January dam was? Answer. The 1st January dam was located at Stung Chinat. It was near Kampong Thmor province. It was in the district of Barai. Question. When did the construction start and when did it end? Answer. I remember that the, the dam was constructed in 1977, and the construction was not fully completed. Council, thank you. During that period, who were in charge of the construction site. Du site de construction? Answer. I have no idea. I Réponse, only rien. knew that uh, I was working Tout with a my fais, group. Que je avec mon group. Question. Council. Thank you very much, uh, Merci, Mr. Winness. I would Thomas. like to ask about the dam construction. I would like to know whether the whole dam was asked to construct anyway or one part of dam was first 
as si the work has to be constructed. A été construit dans son intégralité du premier Witness. coup, ou s'il a fallu d'abord commencer I par une première partie du barrage. Je ne sais rien des construction of the dam. détails de la construction And de ce barrage. Et pour moi, j'étais impliqué dans la mesurée de la terre. Ma tâche à moi consistait à I was in this terre. assignment until the time that I was asked to stop working. And as for the overall aspect of the dam construction, I have no idea. De la construction du barrage, je n'en sais strictement rien. Council, thank you. I would like to Merci. ask you the question in relation to your task as a surveyor. As a surveyor at the dam site, were you assigned to survey uh, the land from the uh, construction site until to the end of the construction site? Witness. Actually, I uh, was asked to uh, measure the land or survey the land uh, on a daily basis. Le terrain tous les jours. Council, so does this mean that while you were working as a surveyor, you were surveying the land on the whole dams? Is that correct? Answer. Actually, we were shown with the plan and we implemented our work according to the plan. Council, thank you. I uh, would like to seek your clarification on this matter. While you were working as a surveyor, you received a plan to survey the land. How long did it take to complete your survey of the land? Answer. Actually, we had to do the work constantly. And when uh, the construction stopped, we no longer surveyed the land. Council, thank you very much. Where did you survey the land? Answer. We started surveying the land first at Stung Jinet, and then the work and the survey of the land continued on other area until we completed our survey. Council, thank you. In relation to the technical aspect of your work, so which part of the dam uh, that was the most important part that you had to do the survey. Vinet, I really do not get your question, Council. Council, actually, in the whole dam, perhaps, perhaps uh, there was one portion of uh, the construction site which was important. Witness, actually, the reservoir was the important aspect of the dam. It was used to keep the water. L'importance du barrage, c'est que sa fonction était de retenir les eaux. And as for this main area, I uh, was not in charge of. Et je n'étais pas responsable. Council, thank you. I would like to move on. In relation to the reservoir, where was it? Et où se trouvait? The a reservoir was at Stung Chinat. Réponse. Il se trouvait à Stung Chinat. Counsel, thank you. L'avocate, merci. President, you may proceed. 
Mr. Antagusse. Allez-y, Maître Antagusse. Excusez-moi. Um, bonjour, c'est la même Good remarque morning. hier. Je pense que il n'y a pas assez d'espace entre la réponse et la question. Je pense qu'en français, nous avons perdu une, un bout de la réponse précédente. Donc, si vous pouvez y avoir une pause plus longue pour permettre une traduction totale. Donc, si vous pouvez y avoir une pause plus longue pour permettre une traduction totale. Donc, si vous pouvez y avoir une pause plus longue L'avocate, je vous remercie, je vais ralentir. Monsieur Soka, I would like to continue my line Monsieur of Soka, questioning in relation to the time that questions. you first started your work. En ce qui concerne le moment où vous avez commencé à When you first started your work, were you travail, asked, were you and your group asked to do the survey at the reservoir, or were, where were you asked to do your survey? Witness, as I told you earlier, we started surveying the land at the major part of the dam, and then we continue our survey based on the plan. Council, thank you. I would like to ask my follow-up question. When you were working as a surveyor, were there worker had been their worker already at that place? Witness, when I was first assigned to do the survey. Actually, there was marks at the dam site, and I could not see any workers there. Counsel, thank you. L'avocate, merci. Until when did you see workers at the dam at the dam site? Et quand avez-vous vu Do des ouvriers Ou jusqu'à quand Vous en souvenez-vous Witness, I uh, do not recall the dates, but Réponse, je ne workers pas. was already at the dam in 1977. They were, they had been there before me. Ils étaient là avant moi. Um. Counsel, based on your observation, when you did the survey at the reservoir, how many workers were there? De travailleurs. Were there many workers y -il, y -il at that dam site, or were there only a few workers chantier, when you first started the survey the plan? Could you tell the court about this? Witness, I do not have full idea because I know that there were many workers. Je sais y As avait I told the chamber dit, yesterday, hier, in the inauguration ceremony, I could hear the announcement of the numbers of workers at the dam site, but I did not see them all there at the same chantier, time. Council, thank you. On, you stated that you were a mobile surveyor. You did not stay in one particular place to do your work. When you were walking and doing your survey, what is the particular place that you conducted your survey? 
Y avait-il un endroit particulier And how long did it take to travel from mesures, one place to another place to do the survey? Witness, actually, Témoin. we had to change our uh, place to stay, so we have to Nous move around from one place to another place. There was about 10 kilometers away, so I have to move from one place to another. I could not uh, stay in one particular place. Council. So I have a follow-up question. Do you recall uh, the name of the places where you conducted your survey? Witness, I uh, do not remember. I uh, do not know the geography called area there. Council, I would like to know about the workers who had been assigned to work in one particular place. You stated that you would stay in one particular place to conduct your survey for five days. Based on your observation, what was the condi working condition of other workers? Were workers active? Était-il actif? Witness. From what I saw, I could see them working. And Je I do not know whether they were active Je or not. Si ils actifs ou pas. Council, thank you. Based on your observation, merci. what about the physical appearance of the workers? What was it like? Leur état physique. À quoi ressemblait-il? Quelle était leur apparence physique? Witness, based on my own observation, I could see that they were in normal shape. De ce que j'ai pu voir, ils allaient bien. Council, could you clarify this for the court? You stated that uh, the workers, their physical appearance, appearance uh, was in their normal shape. I would like to know, were they healthy, were they fat or skinny? Witness, when I said they were in normal shape, I mean that uh, they could do their work as uh, normal, and I did not see any of them collapse. Council, thank you. I would like Merci. to move back to the reservoir location where Donc, you were asked to do your survey. When you first started surveying the land at the reservoir, do you recall that travail, many people were working there? And how si many, many people were working at the reservoir from your observation? Answer, as for the number of workers there, I really have no idea, but I could see there were many workers at the reservoir. Council, what about the working condition at the reservoir, as you stated? What was the working condition like at the reservoir sites? Answer. I do not have the full detail because the Je work there was different from that in my place. Était différent du travail là où j'étais. Council, thank you. I uh, would like to seek your clarification on one point. Based Merci, on your own observation, I would like to know about the workers at the 1st January dam site. Les were they volunteers du du or were they forced to work at the dam site? 
winners. It's beyond my understanding. Sur, sur It's far beyond my understanding. I do not know. Je n'en ai pas la moindre idée. C'est bien au-delà de ce que je sais. Je ne sais pas. Donc. Council, thank you. I would like to move to the topic of uh, people Avocat. freedom Merci, and liberty. I would like to know while the people who were gens. working at the 1st of January dam, si did they have uh, the freedom of expression? The Could they communicate with each other? Could they express their views in relation to the work that they were doing? So once again, do they have, uh, did they have uh, freedom of expression while they were working? Witness. I do not know whether they have full liberty to express themselves, and I was not the one to observe their way of uh, speaking or communicating. Counsel, thank you very much. And what about you, Mr. Witness? Did you have rights to communicate? Did you have... Uh, Freedom of expression when you were working. Can you express, could you express your views in relation to the work or the job that you were doing? Did you have uh, rights to denounce the work plan? Witness, uh, for me, I have never thought of uh, the freedom of expression. I was Je focusing on uh, my work that is surveying the land, the technical aspect of my work. Council, thank you. You were a technician. Once again, did you have a freedom of expression to share your views in relation to your technical aspect? Among four of us, we discussed uh, about the plan, and uh, we discussed uh, on one particular day we had to do the survey at one particular place, and the group chief uh, discussed with us that we had to do the work in accordance with the plan. Council, thank you. After your discussion among your group to implement, it, the, to implement the plan according to what you Après were asked to do. Avec le groupe de la façon dont il fallait were you the one le plan who told prévu, other members in your group or was anyone else who was in charge of this? And witness. De votre groupe, ou I don't mean that ça. I was the one who gave an order to my group members. We discussed among ourselves when the, the mark or the pose uh, fell down, that we need to install it back. So we discussed how to do our obey, work well. Les remettre, et donc nous de la façon de faire notre travail correctement. Council, thank you. I uh, would like to focus on the merci. freedom of a movement. Could you tell the court whether or not workers in the Damsai had freedom of movement, and uh, did they have right to request uh, to move to another place to work? Witness, I have no idea. Council, I would like to move back to the uh, working condition of workers. What uh, did the job, uh, were the job differences between uh, male and female workers? Witness, I really have no idea about this matter.
console. Thank you. I have a question in relation to your own observation. From your own observation, did female and male workers work together or were they separated? President, uh, Mr. Pexaka, please give your response. President, Monsieur le témoin, veuillez Witness, uh, Mr. President, Monsieur I do not really get the question. question. President, President. Council, please repeat your last question. Maître, veuillez répéter votre dernière question. Council, based on your observation in relation to female and male workers, were they allowed to work together or were they separated in their work? I would like to know uh, your observations based on the, what I have just asked you. Witness, from my own observation, they were working together. Council, and also based on your own observation, what kind of job and work uh, were female workers allowed to do? Do you recall it? Witness, I do not know. I could only see that uh, people, uh, male and female workers, had the same work to do. They were carrying earth. L'avocate, merci. And while the dam was being constructed, pendant la construction was du barrage, there a presence of militiamen or a soldier at the work site? Soldats étaient-ils présents sur le chantier? Answer. It seems that I did not see any guards who were watching over the workers. Je n'ai vu aucun garde surveiller les ouvriers. Counsel. Question. I'd like to ask you a question in relation to a pagoda. J'aimerais vous parler à présent d'une pagode. Was there any pagoda, pagoda nearby the dam construction site? Y avait-il une pagode tout près du site de construction du barrage? Answer. The location Réponse. where I worked. There Là où was je no pagoda. Il avait pas de pagode. No any nearby village. Il n'y avait pas de village non plus. Council. Il n'y avait pas de village dans les environs. What about uh, the area near Jinnata River? Did Et you see any pagoda nearby the Jinnata River? De Chinet, de and so y une pagode de de cette I never uh, reach any pagoda nearby that area as mostly we stay at the work site. Region, Council, and during Question. the period that you worked at the dam work site, did you know or hear about de construction du barrage the, about them searching for the enemies or the KGB spies or agents? Answer, no, I did not. Counsel, thank you, and thank you, Mr. Réponse, President, and I'd like Question. to hand the floor over to Madame Machigaro, my international Monsieur colleague. Président, je vais donner la parole à ma President, yes, sir, international uh, counsel for prie, civil parties, do you have the floor? Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Bonjour, Monsieur le témoin. Good Merci de, de répondre à nos questions. Thank you for being je m'appelle Marie Giraud et je My suis l'avocat international qui représente les intérêts du collectif des victimes qui se sont constituées partie civile dans ce dossier. Et j'aurai quelques case. questions à, à vous poser And sur votre expérience. 
lorsque vous avez travaillé sur le barrage du 1er janvier. Je voulais tout d'abord vous faire réagir à l'une de vos réponses que vous avez données aux enquêteurs lorsque vous avez été entendu en octobre 2009. Et je me réfère au document E3-403-403. ERN en français 004-222-38. ERN en Khmer 003-89-522. ERN en anglais 004-03-004. Monsieur le témoin, quand il vous a été posé la question euh, de combien d'années euh, la construction de ce barrage devait prendre, vous avez répondu, et je vous cite, « En ce qui concerne ce plan, la hiérarchie a fixé la date d'échéance d'un an pour réaliser la construction. » Mais celle-ci n'a pas été terminée selon le délai fixé. Je voulais vous demander, Monsieur le témoin, si vous pouviez nous en dire un peu plus, si le chantier avait pris plus de temps que prévu ou moins de temps que prévu. Je confirme ce que j'ai dit précédemment. Les dates. Ce plan n'a pas été accompli comme il avait été établi au départ. Je vous remercie. Est-ce que vous pouvez être un petit peu plus précis. Est-ce que la Can construction a pris plus de temps que prévu, que les un an prévus, ou moins de temps Lorsque vous étiez arpenteur sur ce chantier, ressentiez-vous une quelconque pression pour finir le chantier Attends et respecter le plan et la date d'échéance d'une année. Je pense qu'aucune pression n'était exercée sur nous. Nous devions simplement poursuivre les travaux jusqu'à avoir terminé. Est-ce que cela sous-entendait que vous deviez travailler plus et que les horaires de travail étaient dès lors plus longs pour vous permettre de respecter l'échéance prévue Nous devions poursuivre notre travail. Je vous remercie. Nous avons entendu juste Thank avant you. vous un autre témoin qui dirigeait une unité sur le barrage du 1er janvier et qui était le, le chef du village de Prey Strong A, qui était un village. Euh, tout proche du barrage du 1er janvier. Et ce témoin nous a indiqué lors de son, de son audition qu'il avait assisté à, à des glissements de terrain 
sur le site du travail du barrage qui avait euh, occasionné dans son unité euh, la mort de trois travailleurs. Est-ce que vous avez été témoin de ce type d'accident de travail et de glissement de terrain sur le site du barrage lorsque vous y étiez and the landslide that occurred while you were working at the No, I was not aware of any solar collapse as I did not stay at one place. Je vous remercie. Je voudrais vous faire réagir, monsieur le témoin. Thank you. Witness à une, une constitution de parti like civil, c'est-à-dire à une, une déclaration qu'a faite une victime qui a souhaité participer a a à la procédure. Cette personne participait à une unité itinérante euh, au bord du bassin du 1er janvier. Et je me réfère ici au document E3-51-20. Et aux IRN en français 009-40161, ERN en Khmer 005-84-860, ERN en anglais 009-30-7096. Je vais vous lire un, un passage de son, de son témoignage. Et j'aimerais vous, vous faire réagir, si vous le, si vous le pouvez. Elle faisait donc partie d'une unité itinérante en bordure du, du bassin. Et elle indique ceci. J'ai assisté à l'effondrement du barrage au moment où nous en avons réalisé près de 10 mètres de profondeur. Malgré cela... On nous a ordonné de continuer à creuser de la terre du barrage à l'intérieur duquel travaillaient des centaines de personnes. À ce moment-là, il semblait que le béton n'était pas encore assez solide pour supporter la pression d'eau, ce qui a fait effondrer le barrage, provoquant ainsi des morts. Mon groupe travaillait au bord du barrage. J'ai échappé à cet accident en courant vers l'extérieur, j'ai pleuré et j'étais très paniqué. On m'a dit de ne pas rapporter cet événement. Au cours de la construction de ce barrage, les Khmer Rouges ont dit qu'il y avait énormément de personnes et qu'il valait mieux que certains meurent pour avoir plus d'espace libre. Je voulais savoir, monsieur le témoin, si vous aviez entendu parler de ce, de ce problème, de cette malfaçon au niveau du barrage Est-ce que c'est quelque chose dont vous avez eu connaissance à l'époque Merci pour ce que vous venez de dire. Personally, although I tried to recall, I did not know uh, about that event, or it might have happened when I was not there, or, or maybe I was uh, away from uh, that uh, event. Je vous remercie. Est-ce que vous avez le souvenir de Thank you. D'un quelconque autre problème dans uh, de malfaçon dans la construction du, du barrage Est-ce que c'est quelque chose qui, euh, éventuellement, euh, réveille des souvenirs chez vous ou pas du tout Cement used for the uh, reservoir. My team did not have anything to do uh, with that. Our Mon team was to survey the area, Nous the land, and de, de to sur le put the post markers on the spot. Je vous remercie. Je vais vous citer. 
un autre passage de votre audition euh, devant les co-juges d'instruction en octobre 2009. Donc je suis toujours euh, sur le document E3-403 et je me réfère à la page en français 004-2242. ERN en anglais 004-03-007, ERN en Khmer 003-89-525. Je vais vous lire la, la question qui vous a été posée à l'époque et la réponse que vous avez apportée et j'aurai ensuite des questions de suivi par rapport à ce que vous avez dit à l'époque. La question qui vous a été posée est la suivante. Est-ce que vous avez vu des agents de sécurité ou des agents secrets passer leur temps à inspecter les lieux de travail Et vous avez répondu à l'époque, les agents secrets n'étaient pas présents, ce que vous avez confirmé avec ma collègue tout à l'heure. Il n'y a eu que des soldats rattachés à la zone mais ils n'étaient pas nombreux. Ils ont patrouillé sur les chantiers de la construction de peur que les ennemis ne viennent détruire les travaux déjà réalisés. Ils ne nous ont jamais dérangés. Ils n'ont même jamais tiré avec leurs armes pour faire du bruit, tant, tant. Par ailleurs, je n'ai jamais vu qu'on ait tiré sur qui que ce soit. Dans cette réponse, monsieur le témoin, vous indiquez qu'il y avait des, des soldats rattachés à la zone qui étaient présents sur le chantier. Je voulais savoir comment vous pouviez identifier à l'époque qu'il s'agissait de soldats rattachés à la zone. Quand vous dites qu'ils patrouillaient sur les chantiers, est-ce que vous pouvez être un petit peu plus précis Que faisaient-ils exactement je vous remercie. Vous indiquez dans votre réponse qu'ils étaient armés, mais qu'ils n'avaient jamais tiré avec leurs armes pour faire du bruit. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous indiquer quel type d'armes ces soldats rattachés à la zone avaient hmm. From what I saw at the time, and the only thing I uh, know is that they were holding the AK-47 rifles. Je vous remercie. Dans votre, dans votre réponse aux enquêteurs, vous, vous indiquez que ces, que ces soldats patrouillaient de peur que les ennemis ne viennent détruire les travaux déjà réalisés. Je voulais savoir ce que vous entendez par le terme « ennemi ». Qui étaient pour vous les ennemis à l'époque, surveillés par les soldats We only heard about uh, the use of the word enemy from one another and that we were told les that uh, they were on patrol in order to be vigilant of the enemy. President, thank you. The time is convenient for a short break. We take a break now and return at 25 to 11. 10h35. And Mr. Pesoka, we take a short break, and you may rest pause. as well.
vous pouvez en profiter pour vous reposer. And we will resume at 25 to 11. The court is now in recess. Good looking. Good looking.